Weather portion of Ag Week now, the two-week forecast heading forward. Heat is coming northward into the northern plains and upper Midwest in huge waves, residing and being replaced by much cooler weather in between. And each wave of heat will be coming in with a fair portion of humidity, and that will set up the possibility of storms. But because of the shape of the jet stream pattern, I'm still not convinced that those rains are going to be widespread in the Great Plains and upper Midwest. Drought is beginning to rear its ugly head because of a relatively dry winter. Many areas of Colorado are already getting into the extreme drought. Pacific Northwest, especially southern parts of Oregon and the Cascades, did not have a lot of snowfall over the winter. And uh, so those folks are getting set for what will likely be a bad forest fire summer. But in the northern plains, we're starting to see a few areas that are really getting quite dry. Drought monitor reflects the deep moisture profile. So a lot of this area, the topsoil has been fairly dry. Thunderstorms in the forecast this weekend could very easily eliminate a lot of this, but how widespread will the rains be? Well, the pattern, you can see the trough, ridge trough pattern, that kind of classic W shape, and that's pulling up a lot of warm air and humidity into the northern plains over the weekend. That will quickly be pushed southward as the uh, pattern progresses from west to east. So we're hot and humid early in the week. That'll quickly settle back down. In fact, we have some relatively cool weather coming this week into at least the northern plains. A lot of the south will be consistently in the 90s or pretty close to 90 degrees this week. So fairly hot weather south and the chilliest weather from Hudson Bay down through the Canadian Maritimes. The west, not that cold. In fact, Alaska will continue to be having a fairly warm spring. Transitioning into next week, we start off over the weekend with relatively warm weather. There will be a surge of heat, but I think it'll be further west this time. A lot of the Midwest relatively cool to mild with a trend toward warming up as we get toward the middle part of June sometime around the summer solstice. So where will the rains be? Well a tropical system coming on shore this week is likely to produce some areas of very heavy rain. The models are taking that in through the southeastern states where it may linger and the moisture will likely linger even after the tropical system fades. So the deep south is going to be quite wet. Some of those showers will move up into the northeast, potentially heavy. There will be a round over the weekend, lingering into the early part of the week of heavy thunderstorms northern plains. I'm not convinced there's going to be widespread beneficial rain. Some areas will look good. However, a lot of the rain will set up in south central Canada. The second week of this period, I look for things to really kind of dry out a bit. A few showers on the coast. A lot of the midsection of the country will just have those sporadic, widely scattered storms. Nothing very organized.